Hey guys, today I'm reviewing Rect Extreme, the pure workout from Huge Nutrition, done in collab with Review Bro. It's the limited edition version of the regular Rect. The regular Rect. Now, this is a bigger pre workout with more servings and more ingredients per scoop, but you get twice the potency in the extreme version. So, the stimulants in here are quite strong. It is stronger than the regular Rect. And it's actually one of the, it's supposed to be, one of the best pre-workouts so far this year. In this video, I'm going to break down the ingredients, break down my review, and give you my final score and thoughts on Rect Extreme. It has DMHA, aerogenesis, and it has three forms of caffeine. Caffeine hydrous, caffeine citrate, caffeine malate. First, let's go over the label. If you don't want to hear this part, then you can skip. I'll put the timestamp for the for my review. You can just get straight to it. Now, Review Bros took the time to break down the ingredients on their Instagram. Maybe I'll put that on the screen right now. As you can see, they've taken in every ingredient and explained each one at what it does. The first ingredient here is citrulline. It's six grams dosed here. It's pure citrulline, not citrulline malate, which means you're getting nearly twice the amount of what pure workouts with citrulline malate would have. Now this is a nitric oxide booster. It's supposed to increase blood flow. It's going to give you that pump, it's going to give you that fullness, and it's the only nitric oxide booster in here. So the next ingredient here is dosed huge. It's dosed at four grams, it's a beta alanine, and it's supposed to give you tingles. It will give you tingles if you haven't taken beta alanine in a while. If you have been taking beta alanine, then your body is probably already saturated with it. And if your body is saturated with it, you'll less likely feel the tingles that everyone complains about. I actually like the tingles. It makes me feel like I'm about to go super sand or something. So the next ingredient here is tyrosine. Tyrosine's dose at 1.5 is going to be a precursor to your neurotransmitters. And combine it with stimulants. The stimulants are going to release those uh, neurotransmitters like dopamine, adrenaline, and ephrine. Ephrine. So when you combine tyrosine with stimulants, you're going to get more of that motivating feeling. At 1.5 grams, that's a clinical dose. Anywhere between 1 to 2 grams per day is quite good. And if you're recycling off stimulants, tyrosine is good to have. A pre-workout with tyrosine combined with so much stimulants, you'll know it's going to be a strong pre-workout. The next ingredient here is alpha GPC. It's dosed at 50%, 600 milligrams, which means you're getting 300 milligrams. Which is a full clinical dose when you're combining it with huprazine, which is which is in here, by the way. You're gonna get that focus and mental enhancement all day, especially during your workout. So when you have acetylcholine, uh, when you have a source of choline, then you'll know that you're getting a pre-workout with good focus. Alpha GPC has some strength improving benefits as well. There's some science to it. If you want to check out the details, you can go to my site. I have a breakdown of this pre-workout there. So next ingredient here is the caffeine hydrous dose that 250 milligrams. Now in total, there's 409 milligrams of caffeine in here coming from citrate and malite and hydrous. Hydrous is relatively quick, but citrate, it's gonna hit you fast. It's gonna hit you like a train. And malite, it's gonna be like slow, slow uh, releasing energy. And long after the citrate wears off, wears off you're going to get the malite uh, still kicking in smoothly and you're going to have that energy flowing throughout the day steadily. With caffeine malite, you're going to have a consistent flow of energy throughout the day. And when you're looking to work out for at least an hour, you're going to need that energy. Next ingredient here is 200 milligrams of aerogenesis. This is a mood enhancer. Now, aerogenesis, it increases dopamine production, so you're going to feel really good. But it tends to wear off quickly. Review Bros combine 150 milligrams of hordenine to prolong the effects of aerogenesis. So you're gonna get that mood enhancement benefits and it's gonna last longer. It's gonna hit you hard, but still it's gonna last long and you won't have so much of a crash as hordenine prolongs the effects of you know, stimulants and aerogenesis, which is amazing, which means you're gonna get mood and energy for a longer period of time and long after your workout you're still going to feel that nice flow of energy and um, and yeah energy 
Now, next ingredient here is DMHA, dose at 150 milligrams. This isn't a huge dose, and it's combined with the other stimulants in here. So when you're getting 150 milligrams, combined with 150 milligrams of fordine, so 100 milligrams of aerogenesis, it's gonna be a wreck ton of energy and mood and motivation. But the DMHA is actually my favorite part here. They're using the stronger form, which is two amino six. It gives you more aggressive energy, hence why this pre-workout is said to have urgency and motivational energy. And most pre-workouts these days, they just have DMHA, just a regular form. Uh, and there's two forms of DMHA, the 2-amino-5 and 2-amino-6. 2-amino-6 is more aggressive, 2-amino-5 is more smooth, smooth hitting. So, if your bros did a good job by choosing the stronger form of DMHA, and hence why this is one of the few uh, aggressive feeling pre-workouts where you feel like a sense of urgency to work out. Uh, the next ingredient here is theanine, dose at 100 milligrams. Now, this is a moderate dose. The cool thing about theanine is it, it increases calmness without causing drowsiness. So when it's combined with caffeine, you're going to get a steady flow, like a zen-like focus into your workout where you don't, you don't have the jitters right, because theanine will decrease those jitters reduce anxiety and you're gonna feel a nice flow of uh... next ingredient is 50 milligrams of hygienamin hygienamin is a banned ingredient in the WADA world anti-doping agency it's a mild stimulant it's gonna increase your oxygen uptake uptake so you should you should find an easier time to breathe in between sets uh, so hygienamin actually um, doesn't reduce anxiety helps you with your oxygen intake, which I find like I find it a lot easier to breathe when I'm taking a pre-workout with hygienema. The next ingredient here is usually used in fat burners. It is grains of paradise. This is a fat burning this is a fat burning ingredient. It's where the spiciness comes from when you're drinking rect extreme. It makes you feel warm when you're drinking it. It's not gonna like burn at 100 calories. It's going to enhance the thermogenesis in, in your workouts. So when you're taking Rect Extreme with all these stimulants together, it's gonna to be a nice flow of heat, a nice flow of energy, urgency. But how does it really perform in a workout? Next ingredient is it's Huperzine, which I mentioned already, which uh, it decreases the breakdown of ectocholine. So when you're taking a choline source with Huperzine, you're gonna have more flow of uh, focus. Actyl choline production, you'll have a higher production of it throughout the day. Now to help the enhancement of the absorption of all the ingredients, there's black pepper extract. This is a absorption enhancing ingredient when it's taken with other ingredients. It's going to enhance the bioavailability of all the ingredients it's taken with. So it should help optimize absorption of like all the 20 ingredients in here. And there's alpha yo. there's only one milligram in here which is not too big of a dose. If you don't like Hudo Himbine, you should be fine with this one milligram. Alpha Yo has the same benefits of regular Yo Himbine, but without the anxiety and jitters. So at one milligram, you're getting a relatively safe dosage. I haven't heard any complaints of cold sweats. If you're sensitive to Alpha Yo, I think you should be fine with this. Now all together, all these ingredients are gonna help increase that flow of energy that's going to help increase thermogenesis with like three different ingredients for fat burning. It's going to make you feel warm and ready to work out. Now my review. Now I've taken Rect Extreme quite a few times now. I would take it on an empty stomach, completely fasted state in the morning. And usually about 40 to an hour after I drink it, I would work out. And by that time, I would feel the peak of the energy. And the energy wasn't like double impact where or assassin where it would uh, increase your heart rate to the point where you feel like you're going to have a heart attack it's super smooth energy there's absolutely no jitters even with alpha yo but again i'm not sensitive to yo hunbine but i am sensitive to stimulants even though i've taken so much strong peer workouts over the past couple of weeks so before I started to work out, I felt like, an, like a sense of urgency to get up and work out and go to the gym, which I have on the roof. So I would feel a sense of urgency long before I would hit the gym. I would feel like I have to get up, but it's not like where you have to get up and clean the house. And this urgency lasted long after my workout.
Now during my workout, I felt I felt good. Like I was in a very uplifted mood, but it wasn't like the ultimate euphoria. But it was more like uh, like motivated to lift. I, I I wasn't put in a mood where I would I want to call up people. I don't socialize as much because I'm so motivated to work out. It was a nice clean energy, but with a downside, of course, which I'm going to bring up in a bit. It was like uh, I needed to work out, and I, when I did work out, I was continuously pushing reps. And even though I was pushing my my usual reps, I would not feel fatigued, and I would feel like I could go for more, like I can continue grinding out more reps. It, it was just a clean, like very clean energy. Uh, 400 milligrams of caffeine on top of exotic stimulants in here. Like you would expect it to have like a jittery feeling, but instead I didn't feel that. I felt super motivated. Like it was like a natural sense of mood elevation and energy. And throughout my workout, I, I didn't feel it's like downturn of energy. The energy stayed up there. And, it, and even though I was in a facet state, uh, I didn't feel like sitting in between workouts. I didn't feel like sitting in between workouts. I was always moving back and forth. I was always thinking about my next set. You know, this is designed to be a STEM junkie pre-workout where if you've taken stuff like Assassin, then you're gonna like correct extreme. I would say this is comparable to Assassin in some ways. I had more heart pounding aggression where I would have to move a lot to calm myself down, but with Rect Extreme, every move I had was like made with a purpose. And it wasn't like I needed to lift weights and fly off like Superman, but it was like, I could do this. This is my new set. I can do this set. And then I was thinking about the next set. And I, long after my workout, I didn't feel the crash. Maybe like six, seven hours after my workout, I felt the downturn of energy and maybe some mood, but it wasn't, it wasn't noticeable to the point where I was like, feeling withdrawals. It was more like subtle. It was very subtle. Hmm. It was very subtle, yeah. But the downside, of course, there are some down, maybe one or two downsides to Rect Extreme. And the one is there's only citrulline in here. Citrulline is good, but I like it combined with Acmatine or with another nitric oxide booster because it doesn't like pumps. Here's supplements. They do have pump serum, which you can combine with uh, any pre-workout pump serum is just nitric oxide boosters, which is good. I'm going to have to do a review on this soon. The other downside, in my opinion, is a beta alanine. I don't think it should be in pre-workouts because you need to take it on a regular basis. Uh, your body needs time to be saturated with it. So by the time you finish Rect Extreme, hopefully you're taking Rect Extreme again or another pre-workout with beta alanine. Now this isn't designed to be a daily pre-workout. I would recommend only taking this, you know, twice or three times a week. You don't want to build a tolerance to it or any pre-workout. So I would recommend having like a regular pre-workout that, that you can take on a regular basis, like the regular rect. Right here. here is the flavor. I mean, the flavor can't get, I can't complain about it. It's good, jungle candy. Who's gonna complain about jungle candy? I don't know, but if you are going to complain about jungle candy, send me your address and I will come over and give you some jungle candy of mine. Jungle candy is good. It's not too sweet. I like it. I drink it. I'm not going to party with it. I'm going to work out with it. So I'm not uh, having like a wine tasting where I swirl around the cup and I'm like, there's a bit of sweetness to it. I don't know if I should recommend this pre-workout. Why would I give a shit about the taste? Fuck flavor. The flavor is good, you're not gonna complain about it. If you are gonna complain about it, get some Kool-Aid. Now, in my opinion, there's two downsides to Rect Extreme, and that would be one, not having a second nitric oxide booster to complement citrulline, like Agmatine, because Agmatine would prolong those pumps, and better alanine because it's not necessary, and two, you need to have better alanine on a regular basis. To, for it to work at its best. So, but then again, uh, 
that's just my opinion about the Beta L9. You can take Rex for a month and you would still have some benefits from the Beta L9. I would think so. It's fine, if, uh, but, um, but I'm just being picky. It's not really a downside for everyone. It's just my personal opinion. I'm just being as transparent and honest as possible if I was going to pick this pre-workout apart. No pre-workout is perfect. Every pre-workout has a downside, so I'm just being picky. Yo, Heat Supplements and Review Bros, thank you for hooking me up with Rect Extreme. I've enjoyed it. It's a good pre-workout. And if you would like to see more reviews, leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts on Rect Extreme. If, you, if you've tried Rect Extreme before, or if you've tried the regular Rect, please leave a comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And you're only supposed to take one scoop, not two, but one scoop of this. But as a beginner, I would not recommend taking a full scoop. I would recommend you take half a scoop or less. Even at half a scoop, for most people, this should be a hard-hitting pre-workout. At full scoop, it's not overwhelming, but at the same time, if you're tight on a budget or if you just want to try it and assess your tolerance, half a serving is perfect. Check out my website, fitfrick.com, where I review supplements, break down the ingredients, provide analysis on everything, and where I post workout programs. Use my coupon code FITFRICK, which will get you 10% off. That's FITFREAK without the A for a nice 10% discount. That will get you this pre-workout down to about $44, which is a little more than $2 a serving. But if you're using half a scoop, it's going to be like a dollar something per serving, so it's not too bad. Full serving, it's priced up there with the average pre-workout. Now, if you're in the EU, you can check out NutriCartel.com where you can also use my coupon code FITFRICK and that'll get you 15% off. Now, for effectiveness, for effectiveness, I have to give this a 9 out of 10. It's close to a 10. For flavor, it's definitely also a 9 out of 10. For ingredients, you know, 8.5 to 9 out of 10. Now the effectiveness, this is designed to be a Sten Junkie pre-workout and does it do that? It does because it is a strong pre-workout. It's designed to be a Sten Junkie pre-workout. Now at half a scoop, you're still getting 200 milligrams of caffeine as well as the other stimulants in here. Smell the shit man.